bless you wonderful people proverbs 18 21 declares death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it and indulge it will eat its fruit and bear the consequences of their words so the consequences would come as a result of their words those who use their tongue and indulge their tongue okay because there is life as well as there is death in the power of the tongue as a result of indulging you would have the fruit and what it bear so the consequences of their words those who indulge in using their tongue so the word of god is simply saying here to us that based on our words will determine our world so our words will shape our world so where there is a revelation of this verse proverbs 18 21 we we would begin to align our words begin to speak correctly speak words of life and not that of death because the consequences of our tongue as a result of our words we will have its reward therefore our words will shape our world so the words that comes from our mouth will shape our world or determine what our world will look like a matter of fact we have to begin to align our words with that of the principles and the word of god and speak life when we speak life we will have life we will see the manifestation of life and that more abundantly on the contrary if our tongue is fouled we are unable to speak life come in agreement with romans chapter 8 verse 1 Persons struggling with the way they speak and the words that comes out of their mouth have not come in agreement with the word of God with relation to our new life. So they are struggling with self-condemnation. Romans chapter 8 verse 1 said, Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, okay? who believe in him as lord and savior so where there is a unbelief and doubt and no, lack of agreement you would find condemnation